How do you start off illustrating a book? Like, do you just mess around with ideas? I mess around a lot. That's exactly right. For the book that this image came from, I first started with an ideas book. So it's a, it's a way of putting all the ideas in your head onto paper and not being precious about it. So I knew this story was going to be about the weather, so I started collecting images from the newspaper about synoptic charts. And then I drew some synoptic charts. And it's, it's brainstorming, it's just letting one idea lead on to another, lead on to another. So it, and, and a small piece of paper means I'm not committed. You know, like I could make one of these images in 10 or 20 minutes. These are little stickers, I was making raindrops. And all I wanted to do was open the possibility of how it is that I'm going to compose a page. Sometimes it's about just getting little moments to sing to me. I need to be entertained. I'm going to be working on this book for a really long time. So I, it, it needs to rock me, otherwise I'd be quite bored. And out of this page of collected insects, I have this snail that appears the whole book through. In Jackie French's book, I had to put the colour red in. And I was walking down Albion Street and there was a big skip out the front. And this here is a box of, it's called Jex and it's um, still wool. The red in the 70s doesn't exist anymore. I couldn't produce that colour, but it already existed. So I just found it, I took it and I went, that is the red. You use kind of collage on draw. Yeah, yeah. 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 Collage is a big open term. I've got is a, the first run of some buildings. Maybe to lift the image a little bit, I might bring some red into the picture. A light box is what I'm working on. And I'm just going to trace one of the buildings. I'll cut it out and then I'll see what it looks like and take it away and I'll make a judgment based on that. So I'm just going to trace around building. I'll just get some scissors. And the paper that I'm working with is it's a roll of tracing paper and it's iron-on transfers from the 60s. So I've cut it out and I'm just going to place it on top. And that starts to slowly change the image. Does the author have a lot to do with the illustrating? No, thank goodness. <laughs> Although the author of this book um, was really, really happy with the illustrations. A picture book? is half the writing, half the illustrators. We've both got equally important jobs. And I think you'll end up with a more exciting product if you keep both of those separate, but not always.